around 5 a.m. is just such a good time for me to focus on myself mentally in the morning you can either like work in the morning if you wake up this early and like work all morning or either just focus on yourself if you're going to be working for the rest of the day which i love to do i love to do yoga i love to go on a hike either this time in the morning has been so good for me to balance everything out today i have a lot of stuff i want to do so that's like why i woke up so early maybe i can get more stuff done right now i'm currently like exhausted i don't even know how i'm up because I did not get enough sleep whatsoever. But we're up, and that's all that matters. Mel is letting it rip. I'm basically just going to be going on a trail this morning just to watch the sunrise. It's already getting bright out for some reason. I think the key to waking up early is setting something like you want to do in the morning. So that's like anything that makes you happy. I like going on hikes. I like watching the sunrise. Like why would I sleep in? I need to get up. So that's how I get up. Also, if you want to use the 5-3-2-1 method, it's so good. Like if you struggle with waking up like right then and there, this will help you get up so fast if you keep practicing it. Obviously, the first time is going to be hard. But basically, when your alarm clock goes off and Instead of hitting snooze say it out loud or just like in your head five four three two one and then that's when when the one hits like that's when you actually get up that's what i've been using i think that's like the best advice i could give you guys because that's what would help me when i was in school and like middle school and i would not get up like did that for like a week straight and it helped so much so that i kept doing it more <laughs> Okay, so here's the outfit I currently chose to use. This is like a tank top. I put it backwards because I like just like the black and I don't have any like black tank top. But it's from Gia, I believe. Gymshark sports bra and shorts are from Forever 21. This jacket is from Boohoo. Since it's like a little bit chilly out, since it's like the mornings and I just like putting something over this. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my Beats headphones and leave because it is sunrise time and like the sun's going up and I feel like I'm just wasting time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be right and honest with you guys. I left fruits in here on accident. I went to the beach like literally four days ago and it's still in here and it stinks. I thought this was from outside, but it's actually from my car. That's so disgusting. It smells so bad in here. <laughs> it's gonna be a good walk. Super sunny outside. So I just know this is gonna be really nice. bringing my water bottle because I usually get thirsty and I forgot to bring my bag because I like to have a bag so I don't have to like carry everything but since I only really have my water bottle I didn't really want to bring a bag but it's really nice out today I don't even have my shoe on full okay Bella was so excited to go on a walk because she hasn't gone on a walk in so long I'm carrying everything and put it on my shorts I have my phone and my wallet Bella come on video is sponsored by Caseify, so thank you so much Caseify for sponsoring today's video. Caseify has one of the cutest cases ever, like so many options that you can choose from. This is one of my favorites. They're so, so cute. They have all types of protective cases from different prints to cute basics for something more simple as well as customized cases to where you can say like your name or anything you would like it to say. I'm going to show you some of my favorite cases that I've got from them. First off, we have this beautiful designed case. I think this is like 
one of my favorites too. This is my second top favorite just because look at this custom design I put on it. It says M on it, which is so cool because you can add anything on it. I decided to do just like the beginning of my name, which is like Emily M, like kind of just short for it. And it just looks so cute. And then the way this like goes on with like different lighting. So you guys can see like the reflection right now, but this will like come off and oh, it's so satisfying. So, so beautiful. I have had one of these cases before and I just recently got a new phone. So I decided to just get a new one. It's like the same design. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it before, but I'm obsessed with this. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Second is this clear basic phone case. And on the side, I chose blue. Recently, I've been liking blue a lot and pink, but I just decided to go with blue, something different. And my phone is actually like black metallic, whatever it's called. So when you put it on the back of it, this is what it looks like. And it just, I feel like it matches with the blue. It just looks super cute. If I want to go with something a little bit basic. And then the third case I got is this one which is just like a bear print on it it's kind of like pixely i just thought it was really cute and again like i've been really liking blue so that's why i got it and i think it looks amazing it's not super bulky their cases are super lightweight it's just amazing i have this phone charm i'm going to show you guys how i put it on my phone so first off you take off your case then you just put the string through the mute button bring your beads and put it through the hole and that's how you're going to make your knot and then you just put your phone case and there you go you have your cute little phone charm i think it's adorable especially to like hold it kind of like a little wallet just so adorable and convenient not only that their cases are super sustainable and super protective they're made from 65 percent recycled and plant-based material we're actually gonna do a like six feet drop test to see if this is actually 100 percent protected because we just need to test it out for ourselves all right so here's my phone before she's perfectly fine she's not cracked at all we're expecting this not to crack but we're gonna do like a six feet drop test from here i'm like five feet so this is like six feet and Ooh, she actually survived it. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. So as you guys can see, she's not cracked at all. She looks fine. She's working fine. Wow, that actually worked. Jessica Poundstone is one of my favorite artists. Caseify has collaborated with. Her art is amazing. And the design she made for this case is beautiful, which is called the Color Cloud Case. And it kind of looks like an aura design. You guys can get your Caseify phone cases at caseify.com slash emilypolici for 15% off your order. Thank you so much again, Caseify, for sponsoring today's video. I have a nail appointment that I have to go to at 11 a.m. and it's currently 10 27 like I have to be there at 11 a.m. I was laying in bed for a little bit doing some work on the computer and then I kind of got sidetracked and I'm gonna be honest with you guys like I get sidetracked so much like I will go on TikTok just for fun and then I realized that it's literally 10 27 but like this nail salon is about 14 minutes away so it's not like terrible like I'm not like gonna be super late like I'm hoping I'm not gonna take that long to do my makeup but I'm gonna do something really fast and simple I kind of just want to talk to you guys while I get ready because I just want to clear my mind right now I'm like thinking so much. Oh my god. I didn't even put moisturizer on. Whenever I put this glow lotion Which is like a bronzer it like gives a tint on your skin that makes you look more tan I always put like a moisturizer and I use the Cetaphil moisturizer and it just helps like move all of the product smoothly onto my skin Even though I already look super tan like I was telling you guys about two months ago how pale I felt But I've just been going to the beach a lot ever since like last month as you guys know like I look in florida like why not go to the beach so that's what i've been doing you guys can see my tan line and summer hasn't even started so that's like kind of concerning because i love going to the beach in the summer and i don't know how tan i'm gonna be but i'm gonna be using sunscreen a lot more anyways today i want to go to thrift store after my nail salon appointment because i am traveling to pa for the first time alone which i don't know if i'm gonna be vlogging this i don't know yet i've been planning to make a channel with my boyfriend because i feel like i love documenting 
watching everything with him like recently you guys have been seeing more of him in the vlog he's been coming down in florida so much more so we've just been talking about making just like a couple channel i don't know if you guys would watch it so let me know what you guys think of that but anyways i want to go to a thrift store so i can see if i can find any cute clothing that are like cheaper and by the way guys i'm going for his graduation there's like dogs outside right now barking so that's why mel's barking mel as i was laying in bed i was literally thinking about taking a nap but i was like you know what if i wake up late and i miss my nail appointment it's on me and like i have no other time to get it done like it's now or never so i decided to just be on my laptop doing some work or doing anything other than sleeping guys i love blush like i just keep adding it until like i just think it's enough but i look like a clown at some points because i put so damn much also i really didn't film this because i did rearrange one of my furnitures obviously you could see in the background i moved my dresser to this side of the wall because i just felt like the front like big mirror was in front of my bed and it just didn't feel good and i also just wanted to move something in my room because it's just been feeling super boring and you guys know like i'm always changing up my room whenever it is like if i'm bored like whatever it is i'm always changing up my room so i wanted to do that it was like time to do that i don't want to move my bed because i really like where it's at right now but i'm obsessed with it because i added these plants i got an echo doll i'm gonna show you guys after i get ready and do like a mini dresser tour because right now that is my favorite part of my room i just am obsessed right now i have like these whitish milky pink color and i'm obsessed with it i'm probably gonna get the same shape and the same length i love it i literally scheduled it last minute i always do that and i feel so bad because she probably has so many good clients that text her on time and i'm over here texting her last minute like i literally texted her an hour ago i'm like do you have time at 11 a.m she was like yeah so i'm going i'm also going to be getting my eyelashes done because she is all falling off i have to leave in five minutes and i don't even have my outfit picked out we are done with the makeup now let's pick an outfit because i don't even know what i'm gonna wear i'm probably gonna wear something like super basic Okay, so here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this basic tank top, which is from Princess Polly. Sports bra, which is from Lululemon. And then these sweats. That's the outfit. I know this is like super basic, but I do not have time to like choose an outfit. I don't even know why I'm talking right now because I don't even have time to talk. But like it just sticks out so much. What about this one? I think this one's perfect. I'm wearing this Steve Madden's purse and I think this matches it really well. It doesn't stick out as much as like the black one. That's what we're wearing. This is the aftermath of everything getting ready and I'm gonna have to clean this all up when I get back because this is actually so bad. But anyways, I'm gonna head out now and go. my new nails they're so so pretty like amazing she did more of like a pointy shape and i just i love it i also did my toes but <laughs> we're not looking at that anyways right now i'm at goodwill and i want to find some like cute outfits maybe for caleb's graduation or just like anything we're doing because i don't know what we're doing and i don't really have any options but we're gonna see if we find anything and i'm also gonna look for stuff for him maybe for like a graduation gift or something like that so i'm gonna see if i can find anything i'm gonna try to vlog it's pretty packed here but yeah, I'm obsessed with my new nails. They're like so simple, but like the shape is just so pretty. So let's go. I don't know if I should bring the shorts. They're like really, really wasted. I don't know how I feel about it, but I think I might leave it. I'm gonna risk it. It's $5. I don't know. But I really like all of these. I got two for two. And I don't like these jeans actually. So I'm gonna have to put it back. But other than that, I like all of them. I was trying to fix some shirts because I don't have Sorts, so that's what I focused on. I should, I should get this one. I'm gonna give you guys a thrift store haul. So I went specifically to Goodwill. I find so many good things at Goodwill, but specifically what I was focused on getting were shorts just because I'm going on a trip to PA and we're probably gonna go to some parks and I don't really have any shorts that I like I love to wear. You know what I mean? Like I have one pair of shorts, they're like jean shorts, and so my focus was mostly on focusing on jean shorts so that I can bring to wear because my other one is also like like, I'm growing out of it. It's just not good. So first pair of shorts I got are these and they're like obviously basic shorts I just don't have any like jean shorts. I only have one So these are like the low-rise one and I specifically love the low-rise one They make my body look like more flattering probably one of my second favorite This one is
is my first favorite because I feel like the lighter colors just look so much better on me and look how adorable this is. This is from American Eagle and they're super stretchy and I just feel like this is super comfortable and flattering. Obviously will match with anything I wear like a white top, pink top, whatever it is. Like I love, love. I was stuck between if I should have gotten these or not. Like I said in the fitting room, I was literally standing there for so long trying to decide do I bring this? Do I not bring it? But I decided to bring it. If I want to, then I'll just sell it on Depop or something for you guys. Like I don't know if you guys would like some of these, but they are really, really low rise. That's why I was like, I don't know if I should get it. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but I just decided to go with it because I love the back of it. Like the back pockets are just so cute. I don't have any shorts like that. Last shorts I got, which are not jean shorts, I got these gym shorts and they literally fit so well. They were $6, but it's still so cheap for what it is because I have most of these shorts and they're so expensive. It has like a butt scrunch on the back, so it makes your booty look really good. I also don't have any red shorts and I think that's different. I got this top, which is a children's top, but I found it so cute. I was literally in the line to pay and I saw this like hanged up on like, you know when you go to like Marshalls and you see a bunch of stuff like candles and stuff like when you're waiting in line? Yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so cute with like, I don't know, some jeans or something like that. And I feel like this could fit because it's stretchy. So I picked, I literally looked at it and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna get that. I already got so much stuff. I'm not gonna get it. And then the line was taking forever and I just kept looking at it back and forth and I was like, you know what, I'll just get it. I didn't really try it on, so I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't know if it's see-through, but I just love the color. So that's why I got it. And I also love these like basic tank tops. And I feel like the ones that cover your stomach fully just look so cute. Yeah, that's a children's top. That's like literally six years old. And then for my boyfriend, since I'm going for his graduation, I decided to get some tees. This was $30 and he loves the Columbia shirt. So I got that for him. And this is what the back looks like. I think this is gonna look so good on him. I'm gonna make sure to bring it. Got this top for him too. I think my personal favorite is this one because he just looks good in black and this is the back i just think it looks so good i don't even know what it says but i think this is gonna look good on him and this was literally one dollar and 99 cents that's crazy okay anyways that's everything i got from goodwill i got some really good things and i'm really excited to try them all for my trip <laughs> done I came back from the salon and I did this like treatment I'm doing it for four weeks and now I'm at Whole Foods my hair just feels so healthy right now and it looks so good it looks like more blonde on camera than not anyways we're just gonna run some errands I made it back home and I want to show you guys what I got at Whole Foods. I did some damage, like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not proud of it at all. First thing I got, the stomach formula aloe it just like balances the stomach. I just think that has a lot of good things and it has ginger, which will like help with cleansing, digestion, feeling ill from motion. There's like a lot of good things that this could benefit from. I got two blender bottles for like protein shakes and pre-workout. I've been taking pre-workout recently and I loved using like the mini bottle, but it's not mine. I use my brother's, so I decided to splurge on one. I got this electrolyte mix, which is in a pink lemonade. So you just like put the powder into your drink. Got the beauty collagen which is like what helps you with skin hair and nails and it's just like a powder that you also put into your water bottle whatever it is got these two Oyeron. i don't know how to pronounce it but i used to take these when i was younger like a different type of one there were so many options so i decided to go with the relieves acne and cramps so yeah i've been trying to find stuff that would help me with my cramps and i used to take this for my adhd not the cramps one but like when i was younger my mom would buy this like specific one i forgot the name of it but this one is a 6c and this one's 30c but my mom used to buy this from the same brand and it was just like stuff for my adhd because i was like really hyper and i couldn't focus a lot when i was younger so i would take that and i saw it at whole foods and i was like oh my gosh i 
remember taking that when I was younger. So I just decided to get it. We were standing there for like a good 10 minutes looking at everything that they had because they have a whole list of things that could help you with nausea, digestion. It's just like little supplements that you take every single day or when you feel like that. So like whenever I have my cramps, I'm gonna try those and see if it helps. It's currently 8.05 right now. I just took a shower. I put on some comfy clothes. I made my room super cozy. I turned on a candle and it's just, it's all really cozy right now. It's currently sunset time. Actually, the sun already set. It's just like a little bit bright outside, but it's all set. I am in a tired mood and I don't know why. I think it's because I just woke up super early and I did so much in a day. The last time I picked up the vlog camera was when I did that haul of like what I got from Whole Foods and I forgot to vlog anything else, but basically I came back home and my family just wanted to go out for dinner. So we decided to go out for dinner together and we went to Ford's garage. We had burgers I had fries with it. It was really nice I'm literally still full from it But I totally forgot to vlog it because I forgot I was vlogging and it was totally last minute Like we didn't even know we were gonna go out for dinner until my mom brought it up and I forgot I was vlogging So here I am just telling you guys and then we came back home I laid down on the couch downstairs in the living room and I started almost falling asleep Like I was laying on on my phone and I was starting to get really exhausted I don't know if it's because of like the food Food or if like I just woke up early didn't get enough sleep I don't know because if I slept at 11 p.m. I think it's probably because I did so much in a day and my body is literally just telling me to get some rest because it's just a lot for me I've been also putting a lot of stress on myself just because I have so much to do before I leave to go to the airport and I haven't even like started packing so I don't know what I'm stressing about I think it's just work like in general just editing videos and I'm not complaining at all like it's just what I'm going through right now and I I just want to be up and honest with you guys like yeah i'm doing all of this stuff but it's literally just for me to get myself motivated like getting up early and going out for a walk or something like that just keeps me up for the day and like it gets me moving because if i wake up late i'm literally gonna wake up late and just be on my phone and that's just the truth of it all when i wake up in a better mood and i have things to do then obviously the day is gonna go by smoothly and today was like a really good day like i got a lot done i'm just feeling really exhausted and i feel like i just need my bed right now but i think it's good to go to bed early like especially after a long day if you're having really stressful days at school make sure to get your body some rest maybe that's like literally what's going to solve the problem with you being exhausted is just going to bed early your body will literally thank you it feels so good going to bed early after having like such a long day or taking a nap after school like if you're still in school then take a nap if you have like a long day take a nap that's what i would do all the time i'm not in school anymore but take my tips like i would take naps and it made me feel so much better or i would sleep early Early, but that was like kind of rare because I struggle with sleeping early But recently I've been sleeping a lot earlier than I used to before But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just getting ready I was wanting to take off my makeup so badly I don't know why but I've just been wanting my face without anything on it And I'm putting this moisturizer on my face by Cetaphil And it just makes my face just feel so much refreshed And this is what I was craving on my skin Like this is literally what I wanted <laughs>